okay, let's dive a little bit in, into the data collection part. So if we, we can switch to the edit mode where we have more details immediately in the table. As you can see, if we look into metric, it consists of origin. In our case, it's SNMP, but there are a lot of other origins for the metrics, for the data. And uh, for SNMP, you basically specify SNMP OID that you want to collect. And uh, a lot of other stuff uh, here, like the, the data type, how often you want to collect. It could be server by default. You can specify custom interval in seconds. You can even use advanced shadow when you define, like, if you, what you want to collect it only on working hours or something like this, or how long you want to keep it in the database, and a lot of other configuration. You can do transformations. Here, for example, we calculate a delta from the interface counter because it's a cumulative counter, but we interested in delta per second. So we calculate average delta per second. We also transform bytes into bits by multiplying the value by eight. You can define thresholds. There could be multiple thresholds on a metric. You can enable anomaly detection so the system can detect anomalous values automatically that not fit into the usual pattern then uh, you can mark if it should be shown on the performance view that I mentioned with a lot of settings. You have additional SNMP properties for interpretation. You can um, do other, other stuff for which is deep configuration. And you can add comments to every metric. Also, when you configure SNMP device, there are multiple ways how to use correct SNMP OID. So when you create DCI from here, from, from data collection view, and you can use me browser to select correct OID from the tree, or uh, which is more common, you can launch uh, what we call MIB Explorer for the device, where you have all the, the MIB tree, and you can add your own MIBs, of course, to the system. And then you can, on any element, you can do walk. So you will get actual values from the device. And then on any metric, you can uh, just right click and choose uh, create data collection item, or create metric. Uh, you can define a description, how often to poll, retention time, delta calculation, press OK. And now if we go to the data collection, this is my new metric that I just created with the correct OID and correct data type, polling intervals that I entered, and so on. And of course, you can, in most cases, you want a template, so you don't need want to configure every individual device. You want to use templates. So we have this uh, template view where you can define your templates. And uh, example, I will create a new empty template. And you have multiple options. For the template, you have data collections. You can just create a new SNMP metric as usual. Or another option, if you can do one device, configure what metrics you want for this type of devices, configure them on this single device, test, it, and so on, et cetera. And then you have an option to, on the metric, to convert it uh, to template. So we go to convert to template. We have our demo template, okay. And you see here it gets blue in this data collection view. So, and we see that it's now uh, comes from template, which is a template demo two. And if we go to the template, we have a new new metric here in the template. Uh, after that, you can apply. So you see that the template is now on my switch, and uh, I can apply this uh, template to other devices in my network. Let's take this enter on switch, okay. And um, we have it, our enter on switch now. And if I go to the switch, I have a new metric that comes from my uh, demo two template. And besides that, you can also automate uh, application of the templates, which is a usual thing. So every template has this uh, in the properties, it has what we call automatic apply rules. So you can define basically a script that determines to which devices uh, template should be applied. Let's take a look at some uh, ready to use templates. This one, I suppose, yeah. 
So this is an example of the script, but quite complex one. Uh, so basically what it does, it checks that device supports SNMP and it has specific OID. And besides that, it also uh, responds to some other specific data. So it's for Cisco 3G, 4G modems. And if it does, then we return true, which means a template should be applied to those specific devices. It could be quite complex uh, conditions. Yeah, this is a bit simpler. We just check that it's indeed SNMP capable device and its SNMP object ID is this. And then we apply the template itself for ESX devices. So this is how you configure your SNMP metrics or, or any other metrics. So you create templates, apply them, and this is how you collect. And of course, if you have an item in a template and you change something in a template, that this change will be propagated to all devices where this template is applied. So it's a permanent link. So it's not like a copy of the template once and for, uh, like copy and forget. Any changes to the template will be reflected to all devices where the template is applied. 